when you start looking, first of all, at the family history, the people are just names, and then they become people, and it's like, there's a part of them in me. You can have the good stuff as well as things that aren't so good. In about 2006, Sean passed away. And then a friend of mine, they said, oh, I'm sorry to hear about your cousin. Was it sudden? And I said, no. I said, he died of the family illness. It took me a little while to come to terms with the fact that my whole family could have an illness that would take them away from me. When I uh, was aware that Nicola had the diagnosis of Fabry, uh, it didn't mean very much at first until it was explained to me that it shortens life, it's debilitating, it has no cure. I got really angry and I was angry not just at Fabry, but I was angry at Nicola. It would have been helpful to have the pedigree analysis take place earlier because it would help me to understand a bit more about how it impacted the family. I don't think my family have become Fabry and Fabry has become our family. We still are who we were before, 